Have you heard about the romantic relationship between Virginia Woolf and Vita Sackville West? If you not, then let me tell you. Virginia Woolf was a pioneering English writer known for her innovative narrative techniques. She was a key figure in the Bloomsbury Group. That was a group of associated English writers, intellectuals, philosophers, and artists in the first half of the 20th century. And there, Virginia Woolf will meet her great love and muse, Vita Sackville West, in the year 1920. Vita Sackville was a poet, novelist, and garden designer known for her bold personality and unconventional lifestyle. She came from an aristocratic background, inheriting a vast estate in Kent. But despite these differences in their social status, Virginia and Vita would find common ground through their shared love for literature and their desire to challenge societal norms. Vita's flamboyant and adventurous spirit complemented Virginia's introspective and intellectual nature. Even if both were married, their relationship unfolded in a series of letters, which had been preserved and published, offering a glimpse into the depth of their connection. But despite the intensity of their connection, Virginia and Vita faced some challenges. Virginia, who struggled with mental health issues throughout her life, grappled with the pressures of societal expectations and the limitations imposed by her own mental state and the societal disapproval of same-gender relationships added an additional layer of complexity to their love story. Virginia Woolf's novel, Orlando, published in 1928, is widely considered a love letter to Vita. The novel, inspired by Vita's life, explores themes of gender identity and the fluidity of time and relationships. Through the character of Orlando, Woolf crafted a narrative that transcends gender boundaries and captures the essence of their unconventional love. Sadly, the love story between Virginia Woolf and Vita Sackville West faced an untimely end. Virginia, plagued by mental health struggles, decided to put an end of her own life in 1941. Her death marked the conclusion of a tumultuous chapter in both her life and the history of her relationship with Vita. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe for more.